Welcome to Rugged Made. I'm Jared. Today, we're looking at the MS60 Vibratory Plate Compactor by Masalta. The MS60 is our smallest compactor. It weighs 140 pounds, or about 60 kilograms. The MS60 is a forward-only compactor. It features a 14-inch by 20-inch base made from quarter-inch thick plate steel. It compacts up to 8 inches, depending on the material being compacted. It has a vibrating frequency of 5600 vibrations per minute. The welded handle on the front makes it easy to move around. And the MS60 comes standard with an upgraded folding handle, so it won't take up much space in your truck. It folds easily by loosening these two knobs. Once folded, it's only 21 inches tall. And the handle also features a foam comfort grip. The key advantage of the MS60 is its convenient size. At 140 pounds, it does a great job setting bricks and pavers into sand and gravel for doing patios and walkways. An optional urethane mat will give you most of the compaction while reducing the chance of breaking or scratching bricks and pavers. We'll look at the mat more closely in a moment. The 14 inch width makes it ideal for trench work. And even on the big projects, the MS60 comes in handy because it can get into those tight corners. The vibrator unit features ball bearings for long life, and it uses 10W30 engine oil for easy and inexpensive maintenance. The engine platform is separated from the base and the vibrating unit by four heavy-duty rubber insulator mounts. Let's take a look under the belt cover. The MS60 has a heavy-duty clutch to handle those big projects. It disengages the vibrating unit at idle, so you don't need to shut the engine down. The MS60 uses a 13737LI belt. The part number for this belt is 011544, and it can be ordered from our website. Now, let's take a closer look at the engines used on the MS60. The MS60 is available with two engine options. This is the Lonesome G200 4 cycle 196cc gas engine, and this is the 750 series Briggs & Stratton 163cc gas engine. Both engines offer excellent performance, reliability, and fuel economy, and are easy to pull start. Be sure to run your equipment on fresh fuel, and use at least 90 octane fuel. It's important to winterize your engine properly if you're not going to be using your compactor for a month or longer. Fuel can go bad in just a few weeks. Almost all of the fuel that you can get at gas stations today has ethanol, such as E10. Ethanol can cause all kinds of problems for small engines. It attracts water and causes corrosion. Start by draining all of the fuel out, especially from the bottom of the carb bowl. Then add a quart of ethanol-free fuel to the tank. Ethanol-free fuel like this is available from most lawn and garden dealers. It has a two-year shelf life even after being opened. Run the engine for a couple minutes on the ethanol-free fuel. Then, turn off the fuel petcock at the carburetor and turn your switch to the off position. And now your engine should start up next time without any fuel issues. And here's a tip. Always run the carburetor dry before transporting. Do this by turning the fuel pet cock to the off position while the engine's running, and then wait for it to quit. Then, turn your ignition switch to the off position. We spec the MS60 without a handlebar mounted throttle because they get damaged too easily on the job site. The engine mounted throttle lever works fine. Check your oil level before each use. One of the two fill ports is a plug, and the other is a dipstick. Note that these engines usually ship without engine oil. Both of these engines come standard with a low oil shutoff switch. Change the oil after the initial five hour break in period and change your oil regularly for long engine life. Drain the oil by removing the drain plug at the base of the engine block. Most construction sites are dusty, so check your air filter regularly. 
replacement elements are available on our site. Let's look at two of the most popular accessories for the MS-60. This is the optional urethane mat for compacting fragile materials, such as bricks and pavers. It's secured to the compactor with three bolts in this clamping plate. It's easy to install or remove depending on the kind of job you're doing. A wheel kit is also available. The wheel kit is really handy for moving the compactor around the job site. It folds up and out of the way when you're compacting. The mounting brackets for both the wheel kit and the holes for the clamping plate for the urethane mat come standard on every MS-60. So you can add the mat or the wheel kit later if you chose to purchase an MS-60 without them initially. A roll cage is also available for the MS-60. This is going to give you better protection for your engine as well as a central lift point. For example, if you're using a bobcat with a strap to sling this into the back of a pickup truck. It attaches easily with two bolts at the rear and two bolts at the front. The MS-60 is ideal for pavers, trenches, and getting into tight corners. If you do a wide range of jobs, it's a great tool to complement your other compaction equipment. If you mainly do patios and walkways, it may be the only compactor that you need. We stock parts for the MS-60 and both engine options, so you can stay productive on the job site. This concludes our introduction to this little powerhouse of a plate compactor. Visit us at ruggedmade.com to learn more, or call us at 855-8-RUGGED. That's 855-878-4433. Thank you for watching.